Oh, guys, what an introduction for Jose Aldo, the legend himself, debuting in boxing. Are you ready, Mateus? Are you ready, Thales? Yeah, I'm, I won't blink, man. Don't blink. Uh, the Argentine is feeling as well. He has to be a bit nervous to face a guy with such an M a long MMA record. And we're off. The debut of Jose Aldo here in Rio. First uh, few punches thrown there by Emmanuel Zambrano. Argentina versus Brazil. Zaldo slowly moving forward. Already gets a body shot. Nice jab to the body. Aldo is more defending himself, letting his opponent throw, studying him. Soon we're gonna see some hard hit, hard shots from Aldo. Well, Aldo uh, backstage, they say he was ready. He was gonna look for a knockout. There he goes with two punches thrown, two punches that connected from Jose Aldo. Three, four actually, counting the body shots. Zambrano has nothing to lose. That's the danger. The crowd yelling, vai pra cima dele Aldo. That means go get him Aldo. Look at that hook from Aldo. Body shot. Aldo don't miss any shot. All the, all the shots that he tried to connect go on the target. Very good first round so far for Aldo. Aldo throwing some strong shots there, trying to force Argentine back into the ropes. Good shot from Jose Aldo as Emmanuel just throws a few jabs, moves around, he's moving around. Aldo's forcing him back. He's just moving around to get away from Aldo. Two jabs and a body shot. And Zambrano, nice counter. Zambrano's been trying to throw shots, but nothing too solid like Aldo has thrown. No, Zambrano, all the shots he tried, it was on on the Aldo's guard or find nothing. Otherwise, Aldo connects all the shots he's trying to connect. Aldo right now looks like a predator just going after his prey, slowly moving forward, looking for the right moment to take down the adversary. And Zambrano moving from the left to the right, throwing a jab, just trying to get away from Aldo. Nice movement there by Aldo, and Zambrano is able to get away. And that is it for round one. End of the first round, and no doubt about it, Aldo won this first round. He fought well to block his opponent's attempts, and he connected some good punches on his opponent. But I think he, he will be way better in the second round. Yeah, for sure, this round was for Aldo, and I, I believe the same. In the next round, he'll keep up the pace a little bit more, and he'll try to, to throw more shots. And let's see, maybe we can see a knockout in the next round, maybe, I don't know. Well, Aldo did say backstage that that's uh, what he was going to look for. Let's get this second round going. Zambrano going with some low shots, but you can definitely see the power uh, difference between Aldo and Zambrano when they connect their shots. And Aldo's, well, connecting a lot more. Yeah. 
Good jab there. Zambrano's punches end up uh, hitting the guard of Aldo. We'll try to uh, uppercut there. Good jab and then a cross. This is history in the making, ladies and gentlemen. The legendary Jose Aldo stepping into a boxing ring with the gloves on. The noble art. Just forcing Lombrano back. Lombrano connected too right there. Not bad. Didn't phase Aldo. Aldo just went for the big shot. Made contact twice. Three times right there. What a sequence for Aldo. And Aldo's not wasting shots. I mean, the shots that he's letting go are connecting. Zambrano letting his hands go. He's uh, opening up just a little bit more, trying more than he did in round one. And then he has to be careful with the counters that come from Zé Aldo. Both fighters got body shots, but then Aldo continued and connected to the face again. Both fighters definitely loosening as a... Good job there by Zambrano. What a cross. And Zambrano countering. Fight, fight's getting better. That is it for round two. Thales Leches and Mateus Nicolau. Yeah, round two was better than the first round in my opinion. And uh, Zambrano works better. He got on two, he just, but Aldo chasing him most of the time. You know, connect the better, the better hits on him and hit him more. This is my opinion. 10-9 for Aldo in this round. For sure, I agree the same. Uh, Zambrano fought a little better this, this round. Uh, he threw more punches, but... Aldo, almost all the punches hit uh, Aldo's defenses. And Aldo hit him, connect some very clean cool shots. So uh, Aldo, let's see what coming up next. Next. Now going to the third round. Zambrano already throwing three jabs. Looks a little bit looser, less nervous than he was in the very beginning of the bout. He's definitely throwing more punches. Zambrano definitely working his jab. Got hit hard by Aldo. Now Aldo going in for the kill, but Zambrano countering, making contact as well. Went for some body shots, tried to get the chin, but Aldo does not stop. Connecting again, a good cross there, right on the face of Zambrano. You can see how tough Zambrano is. He was connected some clean shots and keeps strong. Uh, he's still in it. Some good punches by Aldo. Zambrano didn't go down. He didn't look too phased. Continues to fight in close quarters. Oh, what an uppercut by Aldo. He's trying to finish.
finish the fight. Some good punches from the legend. Another uppercut and a hook and another hook and an uppercut. I'm impressed with the Zambrano's chin. Impressive, he, re he received many you know, considerate punches. But he's still fighting and he's still fighting forward. He he's got answering, he's countering, he's still on. He keep trying. He got hit hard. Yeah, Mateos, he got hit hard many times and just continues going. He got hit hard many, many times. And he's still trying. Crazy. And look at how you mean. You can see that Zambrano, even that he is really, really tough, but he's a little bit more slow now. Aldo is connecting better and better. You can see Zambrano trying to move his head around, getting, trying to get away from the Aldo's punches, but hasn't been too successful yet. Look at that. He was able to duck, and that hook just went right over his head. And Aldo continues to throw punches that connect. Aldo is showing some great defenses right now. He was not connected with any three shots. Great job with his guard and with his all his type of defenses. Wow. Good, good fight up to this point. And Zambrano impressive for being able to take on that hammering from Jose Aldo. Oh yeah, definitely. Aldo came to kill in this round. He threw all the, his power in the punches. Zambrano, you know, impressive. Impressed me a lot. He received some punches, but he's still fighting. But no doubt, this fight goes through Aldo too. What about you, Mateus? Yeah, for sure. One more round to Aldo. And I want to see the next one. If you keep up the pace, he will try to finish the fight. Zambrano show a lot of heart. Let's see the next round. But even with a lot of heart, big heart, he is getting slower and slower. And Aldo is connecting more and more shots. This is a six-round fight. Well, there's a ways to go. Zambrano trying to throw some bigger punches. Seems like he's punching a little bit harder than before. Like I said earlier, Zambrano has nothing to lose. The big name guy here is Jose Aldo. Everyone's focused on him. The MMA world knows about this bout for Jose Aldo. It's the next step in his career. He retired from MMA last year. Forcing Zambrano back. Aldo is still chasing his opponent, cutting his angles all the time, moving forward and connecting some punches. But Remember, Zambrano is not dead. He's still fighting. He has hard. He's connecting some punches too. That's the thing that we were talking about before this fight, that is that Zambrano really has nothing to lose here. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, he has nothing to lose him, but he's, he trains boxing for yeah. more time than Aldo. Aldo came from the MMA. But Zambrano probably has more time training and competing boxing than Aldo. So it makes the difference. MMA is one thing, boxing is another thing. And see, he's still fighting, he's still connecting his punches. It makes a difference. And 
And Zambrano connected a few good punches here at Aldo. He, he definitely has the experience as far as boxing is concerned. He's been doing it way longer than, than uh, Zé Aldo has. And he's been able, this is Zambrano's best round so far. Round four has been where he's been doing it better. Yeah. He has hard and he has chin. Low, uh, low blow there by Aldo. So see the replay here is Aldo had that low blow. to stop the clock. Zambrano needs to get a breather still. That takes a little while to hurt. Obviously the fans are going to try to put a little bit of pressure on the Argentine boxer. Okay, we'll get this fourth round going. Our referee telling Aldo that he needs to keep his eye on him. And good punches here late in round four from both fighters. Round four is over. Thales and Mateus, I thought that this was Zambrano's best round, but was it his round? For sure, was Zambrano's best round. He's growing, no, but is the Aldo's, in my opinion, this round goes to Aldo too. He still chasing his opponent, fighting forward, connecting the best shots, and he's winning the fight till now. Yeah, I think the same. Aldo connect the best shots, a lot of clean shots. Zambrano throw more was the best round for Zambrano, but almost everything that he throwed was in the Aldo's guard. So one more round by Aldo, but Zambrano is showing that he's still alive and still dangerous. Well, for anybody that thought that. Zambrano was uh, not going to go the full distance. He's already gone four rounds with uh, Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo is in really, really good shape for this fight. Shots, but Zé Aldo right there with a good jab. The crowd supporting Aldo, obviously. And the Brazilian is moving forward. The Brazilian chasing down the Argentine. Zambrano moving back. Body shot from Aldo. Two body shots there from Zambrano. Felt the top of his head. Head splash. Clash of heads. This referee seems to be a disciplinarian. Constantly yelling at the fighters. Wants their attention. Aldo connecting well, blocking when Zambrano counters, and he's moving forward. Big hook there. 
Santos, nesse Zambrano. There by Zambrano and Aldo is able to take. Good body shots by Aldo. there by Aldo. I'm not feeling it. He got hit kind of low, but fight continues. Aldo setting up some body shots with uh, the jabs. Another round by Aldo, in my opinion. He's still doing the same thing, chasing his opponent, looking for the knockout, but his opponent is very tough. He has heart and chin, and this is it. We are seeing Jose Aldo's wife and daughter a lot on the screen. Here we see the replay by Bills. Like, uh, getting kind of tense. Yeah, Aldo connect more clean shots on his opponent as the other rounds. The final round, round six of José Aldo and Emmanuel Zambrano. Fans, it's an Aldo to charge down Emmanuel Zambrano, charge towards him, put pressure on the Argentine. The Argentine throwing some punches as well, some big punches. Shot was able to get away from the counters of Emmanuel. We are in Rio, the marvelous city of Rio de Janeiro. Flamengo is the neighborhood upper arena. A minute and a half left, Thales. A big right hand by Aldo, clean on his opponent's face, but he's still fighting. And he doesn't stop. Emmanuel has gotten a hit hard many times in this fight, but he continues. Good right hand connecting. Aldo's guard is down. He's looking for the big punch. Aldo's going for the finish.
close quarters. Aldo gets an uppercut, but Zambrano's also there. Full support from the stands. Zambrano connects. Aldo driving his head around. Close to the end of the fight, 20 seconds. Connects a few jabs. He's trying to set up a shot with his right hand. Zambrano's still in there. They're moving around, throwing big shots. Aldo Ducks gets away, goes for an uppercut. Aldo fell down, but I think he slipped. Definite slip. Close to the end of the game, the, the fight. Aldo connecting some really, really good punches. Emmanuel doesn't stop. Aldo's going forward. A body shot from the Argentine. And that is it from Rio de Janeiro. Six rounds are up, and that was José Aldo's debut in boxing. Yeah, excellent fight. End of the round, end of the fight. Aldo won this round two, in my opinion. 60 54 to Aldo. He won all six rounds. All rounds for Aldo. It was nice to see how he was trying to finish the fight. Zambrano shows a lot of heart, a lot of chin. Great, great, great fight. And that is Aldo's pro boxing debut was a success. So, Matheus, you think Aldo's uh, debut pro boxing was a success? It was, uh, it was good? Yeah, for sure. Uh, he went for the finish. We could see that he was trying to get the finish. His opponent was really, really tough. And Aldo also showed a lot of skills, not just on the attack, but defensively as well. He dug, he slip, blocked, he did it all. And for sure, he's going to have a great career in boxing too. Well, he definitely moved around really well, Jose Aldo. It's a new experience for him. As you can see, the replay, Aldo just weaving, bobbing, weaving, trying to get away from anything that Emmanuel was throwing at him. And uh, the Argentine gets the applause from the Brazilian fans. Hugs from Jose Aldo and the Argentine while you're looking at this uh, replays. Of course, the rivalry between Argentina and Brazil is really more for football and soccer. And even in that sport, uh, the two countries do respect each other big time. This has been Shuto Boxing. Shuto's next event will be on the 13th of March. Shuto 116, I will be doing that transmission with Thales Leitches. And then we also have the next fight of the man sitting next to me right now, Mateus Nicolau, as Jose Aldo has his daughter in the ring. Mateus just said you're gonna fight in April, so you must be training a lot. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we still have uh, like a little bit more in two months for the fight, but the training is going hard for sure. And let's see, I will do my best to get one more victory on April 15. Oh, bring it back to Brazil, man. You know the whole country is rooting for you. The clock is already in the middle of the ring to announce the winner. Thales Leitches will also be going into the ring to interview Jose Aldo. Remember, Aldo is from Manaus, but he has been in Rio for a long time training. And let's go to Dave Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Marcelo de Fraga Freitas sees the fight 60 to 54. Judge Sandro Alves sees the fight 59 to 55. And Judge Arivaldo Pereira da Silva sees the fight 16 to 54 for your winner by unanimous decision, O Rei do Rio de Janeiro, Jose Aldo Jr. So, Rei do Rio, the king of Rio, Jose Aldo Jr. wins his debut in boxing.
Also going to get a uh, two belts there. Jose Aldo Jr. And Thales Nietzsche is already in the ring to get an interview with his friend Jose Aldo. Estamos aqui com o campeão da noite, o campeão do povo, mais uma vez subindo no ring, José Aldo Júnior, parabéns pela vitória. Congratulations e você contasse for the win. um pouco pra gente aí, like da sua estratégia, do seu oponente, o oponente duro, o queixo duro, opponent, andando sempre chin. pra frente, mesmo você procurando a luta o tempo todo, a gente viu que você veio com vontade, querendo nocaute, e o cara não caía, corta aí pra gente. Pois é, né, o Zambrano é um cara muito duro aí, ele se envolveu com os golpes, cara, encaixei. Várias mãos boas ali, né? Então, I acho que hard, o trabalho foi bem feito, só tenho que agradecer so ao profissional. Ah, uma marinha lá do Brasil, você é fã. Porra, molecada de lá, cara, todo of, uh, mundo. Ultimamente, eu venho treinando lá com Felipe, Cassinho, Todd, Amarillo, Cassinho, Todd. Lucas, meu, meu parceiro, Lucas, professor. Lucas, meu parceiro. Lucas, meu parceiro. Pô, Galo também, pô, os caras me ajudam demais, cara. Eu tava treinando durante sete, sete meses direto, cara. Então, acho que eu queria dar esse show aí pra galera, eu acho que tá em casa, é um prazer enorme. The... Muito obrigado a todo mundo aí que show. teve I'm presente home. hoje à noite aí, só tenho que agradecer. I'm very é happy and I have to be thankful for everyone that's here. Fez um excelente trabalho, como you sempre. Job, Conta aí pra always. gente como é que é lutar em casa novamente, What aprende a família, like coisa que tem anos que a gente não faz. Você não fez isso há muito tempo. Primeiramente você, né, Thales? A gente tá ficando velho, irmão. Quanto tempo, yeah, hein, irmão? É, Thales, especially you. We're getting old, man. Lutamos meia noite, lutando. Hoje em dia, já entrevistando, a gente tá We chegando. Nós vamos lutar. Nós vamos lutar. Um parente público maravilhoso aqui, todo But mundo. Great Amigo meu, na academia. All my friends. Geral, o Chão também presente aí. Everybody a galera toda que veio hoje à noite. Eu só tenho agradecer everybody a todo mundo aí pela everybody. disponibilidade que tá hoje à noite, né, cara? O que eu te falei, meu Nemo, meu treinador, todo mundo lá. My trainer. Meu Almeirante também, que... Abriu o Cefã pra me treinar, então só agradecer. Minha filha, Joana, vem cá. Eu primeira vez que falei que ia ganhar pra ela hoje, ela tá aqui presente, então... Ela é uma muito especial. Fiquei ainda até em casa, pequenininho aí, não consegue vir, mas futuramente vai estar presente também. Minha filha está em casa, ela não pode vir aqui, mas no futuro ela vai. Mais um cinturão, mais dois, né? Queria que você falasse pra gente o que que continua te motivando e aonde você quer chegar, o que que você quer agora. Acho que, cara, a energia desse... Essa galera, né? Acho que. O People's Energy. É, já tem outro confronto aqui, um mês e meio, né? Um fight in a month and a half. É, Milwaukee lá, com, com o Diário Swift. Então a gente já vai descansar um pouco, aí pra dentro de novo. Então, eu acho que esse é o motivo. Meu pai também hoje presente me. aqui. My dad, Não pôde pela here. primeira vez, né? Ficar no meu corner aqui. Mas estava ali com ele ali, ouvindo as dicas. Ele estava falando corner, comigo, já me conhece. Já sabe me, como é que é a minha história. Só agradecer. Well. Pai, obrigado. So I have to thank Dedé, por, pela sua organização. Fazer esse evento maravilhoso, não só para mim, mas para todos os atletas que estavam na noite. Muito bom ver Johnny, o Marlon, Hernani lutando aí na mesma noite de novo. Marlon, Hernani, um lugar especial, como diz o um amigo nosso, pá, pessoas especiais. Então é isso. Uh, então, é isso. Muito bom, é sempre para ter esse pessoal. É isso, irmão. É isso aí, senhoras e senhores, o campeão da noite, José Aldo Júnior. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of the night, José Aldo Júnior. Matheus, it was a cool event. Very, very good prelims, and then the main card was awesome. We have got to see some knockouts. We got to see some veteran MMA fighters getting down, and then we got to see that man right there, Jose Aldo Jr. Awesome event. It was a huge honor to be here commentating in a Jose Aldo Pro, Pro Boxing debut. Jose is a guy who I've been watching since I am a young kid. And since I came to Rio, I watched him training, I met him personally, and I became even more fun of him. And being present here this night is a really honor for me, huge honor. So it's an honor to do this fight. It was an honor to be next to Thales Leitches and you, Mateus. I'm going to look for you in April. I can't wait to see your fights. And I hope you do really well. Good luck on your career. And a lot of hard training, man. So keep going. Thank you, Bira. Thank you, Thales. It was a huge honor to be here by your guys' side. And yes, I will do my best. I will do all my part, and we will get one more victory. Oh, yeah. Thanks again. Well. It's always my pleasure to be here with you guys, especially tonight. We have a special guest, Matheus Nicolau. And put in the paper what, I, what I'm going to say now. Matheus Nicolau will be the future UFC champion. Awesome. That's what we want to see, Matheus. We're all, we're all with you, man. The whole country of Brazil is with you. You know it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thales, for your words.